This is Food News. Tonight's lead story, fat. By now, you've probably heard that some fats are good, while others are, well, not so good. But guess what? There's a lot more to this story than that. Good fats. At this point, are those really anything more than a couple of buzzwords? You bet they are. And I'm here to tell you exactly what good fats are, why they're good for you in moderation, and where you can find them. <clears throat> Here's the scoop. Good fats are technically divided into two kinds of fat, monounsaturated and polyunsaturated. There are also two kinds of so-called bad fats, saturated fats and trans fats. Basically, this all boils down to one thing. Science tells us that good fats don't come with some of the negative effects of bad fats. And swapping bad fats in your diet with good fats has been shown to help reduce risk factors for disease and promote overall good health. Good fats have also been proven to help lower your LDL cholesterol, that's the bad kind, and increase your HDL cholesterol, that's the good stuff. On the other hand, bad fats can make it harder to keep your weight where you want it. Avocados are virtually the only healthy fruit with good fats, monounsaturated and polyunsaturated. So you're getting both of the good fats in one simple, tasty, and versatile snack. They also work with the body to absorb the vitamins A, D, K, and E. Healthy avocados from Mexico contain six grams of naturally good fat per serving. Vitamins and fats that help your body absorb those vitamins? Just another reason the avocado is an excellent substitute for foods high in bad fats. Our little green friend is also a good source of fiber, with 10% of your recommended daily value, helping you feel fuller for longer. Because who needs a ton of empty calories? Am I right? As in all things, moderation is key. Fat shouldn't make up more than 25 to 35% of your daily calories. But out of the total amount of fat you take in, the higher the percentage of the good fats, the better. So thanks for tuning in to this edition of Food News. Now it's time for me to take my buddy in the AV department out for some guacamole. Hey, wait a second, who's writing this? Mystery solved. Avocados from Mexico. <laughs>